Hey guys, how's it going? So today I would like to introduce you guys to a DFT simulations database that I have been working on and I have posted it on my blog. So basically it is a database of a DFT study of various crystal systems. So here are some of the few crystal systems that I have studied till now like TIO, CDT and a lot of uh, similar crystals. So the database can be found on my blog braggadoff.com so you can just go there and go to DFT and select DFT simulations database which would take you to this page that is this so here um, there is a DFT study for a lot of crystal systems you can just click on any of these and it will take you to the study so let's just say you click on cobalt so once the page is loaded um, the study that I provide is pretty unique uh, in its very own way. So once the page is loaded, you can see all the results that have been obtained in this DFT study. So let me just walk you through all of these step by step. So the first and the foremost, uh, the crystal structure. So the most uh, amazing feature of this uh, database is that you can view the crystal structures um, in the web page itself. So you don't need any other modeling software and you can perform a variety of operations uh, or modeling features using only this window right here on your uh, blog on the web page that you are seeing in your browser so you can either toggle spin you can uh, view it in different models like the space filling model the wireframe model the dots model the ball and stick model that is the mostly uh, popular one uh, or you can just click on reset to reset any of these settings and then the best part is that there are when you right click on this window so you can just go ahead and right click and then there are a lot of operations uh, courtesy of this JSMall library that I'm using so they have provided a lot of features that you can use so you can perform measurements like uh, measuring the distance between two atoms so just go ahead and click on that and select these two atoms and voila you will see the distance between these two that is 0.5 nanometer there are a lot of other features too like um, you can even measure the angles torsion and a lot of stuff so uh, the unit cell of the cobalt is a hexagonal one so there are only two atoms here but if you check out any other structures like TIO to root tile one on my blog then uh, you can see that it has a more a complex structure so when you right click on that and um, when you try to um, perform any operation regarding the measurements then you would have a lot of options to do that here so the angle measurement can be done the distance measurement can be done so here is the angle between these three um, atoms that is 57.2 degrees as you can see right here you can do a lot of stuff here you can even change the style that is the how you want the unit cell to look how you want the bound box to look how you want and the uh, you can select the sizes of the or the widths of the axes the bounding box their sizes of widths, the unit cell size of widths. and now coming to the best part is that it has a lot of features from the JMO library so you can just go ahead and click on console and when you come here then you can even use it to model the HKL plane so if you are a crystallographer then you might find this feature very useful and you are performing ADFT study then this is a must have so you can give this command isosurface HKL um, 100 to show you this particular HKL plane and as you can see you can it is here right now so this there is a lot of features and you can use and you can even click on help that would load the JSMall help document which has the catalog of all the features or the commands that you can use in the console of the JSMall object. So I would say that this is the best part of the uh, database as this would help you in uh, performing a lot of modeling right here on the browser without ever needing any software. So I provide all the details about where I obtained this crystallographic information file from. So the details are always given here and even the link. So mostly I use the zip files from the American Mineralogist Crystallographic Database, AMCSD. So you can just click on this link to go to there. Then I also provide a simulated powder XRD pattern obtained using Vesta. 
so that also can be seen on the blog which is pretty useful to compare your experimental results with theory then I provide many simulations such as uh, GGA or even hybrid functional simulation sometimes so GGA is basically the exchange correlation functional that I'm using and the pseudo potentials I'm using are also always provided no matter whatever I am whatever system I'm working on I always provide the type of pseudo potentials as you can notice here and these pseudo potentials can usually be obtained from the pseudo potential library available on the Quantum Express website, I'll make sure to add the link to it in the description down below so you can check that out. So the zero potential type is ultrasoft, the exchange correlation functional is PBGGA and also provide the wave function energy cutoff that I'm using as it is dependent on the serial potential. So all the information that you are going to need to reproduce the results on my blog or this database are always provided in the um, results and then I also provide the optimized coordinates and lattice parameters which are quite useful. So almost always the optimized coordinates and lattice parameters are provided for all these systems. And then for magnetic systems such as cobalt, I also perform a magnetic study using quantum espresso. And by the way, I forgot to mention that uh, in the beginning, this uh, database or this study is performed using the open source software quantum espresso that is pretty amazing and has a lot of support to help you out. So you can check that out. I'll make sure to add the link to it in the description down below. So for uh, magnetic systems, I also provide the magnetic moment per atom and some uh, information about the results and uh, that can be found here and uh, I even also provide the value of the starting magnetization that you should use to obtain the lowest energy and then you can perform the optimization as well as the magnetic calculations and then there is a band structure and the density of states for the up and down spin as well so these are the results for that however for non-magnetic system the band structures will look like these along the high symmetry points and uh, there are density of states as well i also provide the value of the band gap so you can always uh, get a lot of results or data and uh, that you would get by performing a preliminary uh, dfc study on your own system on your own pc instead of doing that you can just come here and see if the, some of the data is available and lastly, I also provide the input files. However, currently you can see that there are no input files available for some of these systems here. But uh, I'm in the I'm uh, in the process of adding all those input files. I have all of those um, on my PC. I just have to upload these so that you can reproduce these results. And these input files will also help you. And if you're new to Quantum Espresso, then they will help you on how to create input files. So I'll also be providing these, which is unique. Uh, among any other DFT database that you will encounter and I also provide links to all the software that had been used in this particular study and then there are some references and resources that you can find useful depending on the crystal you are or the crystal system you are working on so if I use any reference or result and to compare my results and I always include them in references and resources and if you have any doubts or questions then you can always leave them in the comment section on my blog so I hope you guys uh, are enjoying this uh, DFT database that is it, you are finding it useful so and even you can contribute to this database by just um, leaving um, a single comment and uh, you know asking me if I would like to have that uh, information then you I will maybe we will just exchange some details and you can send the information and I'll make sure to add the results uh, with your name on my blog. So I hope you guys find this database useful and that's it I guess. So that's the introduction to the DFT database available on the braggadoff.com that is my blog. Well that's it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.